Hey guys, Katie Krause here with Clever News and today I'm feeling pretty darn lucky because I'm about to talk with the entire cast of The Lucky One. Yes, including the oh so adorable and talented Zac Efron. So stay tuned, you don't want to miss this. I just found it. Like I was meant to. I promised myself that if I made it out, I would find that girl and thank her for saving my life. And Beth. Logan. What characteristics of Logan attracted you to the role, would you say? He's got immense integrity and immense honor. Um, you know, he's, he's just uh, a guy that he, he makes choices that that I wish I would make if I was ever you know, faced with his, his options. Filming a movie really is an amazing, amazing time. I think I have the best job in the world because every day you're forced to get out there and, and, and put yourself on the line. You kind of put yourself out there in a way that um, is really scary at times, but ultimately very fulfilling. What brings you to Hamden? It's kind of a long story. I, I connected with this character as soon as I read the script. It was one of those moments where it just kind of felt right and so exciting and so when something like that can come to fruition you know after all the screen tests and auditions and it, and it happens it's absolutely thrilling. You get the first phone call that you are going to be starring in a movie alongside Zac Efron but also a Nicholas Sparks bait off the novel. What is your initial reaction to that? I well I was cleaning my closet with my cousin and I took my clothes and I threw them across my apartment and that's all I really remember. What characteristics did Beth have that you said, I have to play this, I want to do, I want to play that role? I was, I, I loved how she was able to, she has so many guards up when we meet her and has been so wounded and is able to, through meeting the right people and through kind of learning how to love and accept herself, is able to overcome a lot of her fears and, and move forward even though she's she's afraid. And, and, and for me, there's nothing, there's nothing more beautiful than watching people be courageous. Why is this a movie for the guys and the girls to see? Well, you know, what happens in the beginning, which really makes, what chokes me up, is what he goes through in the war in, in, in um, Iraq, which when I kept thinking, we still have our young people going through this. It was very, very, you know, it's upsetting, but to see, to see him go through the trauma of that and his post-traumatic stress syndrome and how he handles it is, is, is very, very moving. To me, Zach really does embody that young, that young Marine who's holding so much in, you yes. know, and she and the character I play really does see all the goodness in him. There's a man here who came to apply for the job and I can't get rid of him. How'd you get him to leave? I gave him the job. You don't know anything about him. Neither do you. That's my son in there, too, you know. Let go of my arm. You should do as she says. Unsavory characters are always fun, and I thought that the, different, the difference with this particular character was that he seemed to have a little, a little bit of a redeeming quality in him. There's, there's something to be said for unsavory characters that realize they're unsavory and try to change their ways, you know? You don't know what I'm dealing with. I do know. You deserve better than this. Okay. Well, I know that Logan really chases down Beth after he has a photograph. I mean, when you first met your wife, what did you do to sort of catch her? I had met my wife already previously somewhere and then um, saw her in an airport in Dallas and did not know it was the same girl. And had just gotten my first camera and I took a picture of her as she was sitting in a gate because I thought she was really beautiful. Just, I thought it was a random girl. And she came up to me half an hour later, we were on the same flight coming back to LA, and she reminded me that we had met before, and I said, I got a crazy story for you. And then I told her about taking a picture of her, and uh, you know, a few years later, we got married. So safe to say you kind of believe in fate. Oh yes, absolutely. What scene in the movie was the most challenging to direct? Um, well, funnily enough, I think the, the war scenes were one, and the love scenes were the other, because you know, I wanted to do things in a way that I felt people hadn't seen a hundred times before. And so uh, at the same time be sort of true to the narrative. And um, so both of those elements from the opposite sides of the spectrum, as it were, were probably the most challenging as a director. Do you believe in fate? 
I, I think there's a combination of things, you know. Um, when he finds that photograph in the desert, which is the whole linchpin of the movie, that seems, yeah, I guess that feels like fate or chance, but then he makes a choice to go and find her. So somewhere in there, you know, I think all of our lives are made up of that kind of combination of things that you could put down to fate, but also your choices as well. It's very uplifting, and I think people will walk out and say, oh, with this hard time we're going through, isn't this lovely to be able to, to dream about this beautiful couple? All right, guys, that is a wrap here on the Lucky One green carpet. Zach was, of course, adorable. Blythe Danner could not have been sweeter. Taylor Schilling was fantastic. It's now time to head inside the movie. So for Cover News, I'm Katie Krause, and I'll see you next time. I think he was meant to find that photo. I think it happened for a reason. Surrounded, surrounded, what's your How do you explain something that you can't even understand yourself? Well, were you just a little late? You found me. Why did you come here? To find you.